Another priest. Um, I did play against a shadow priest. Could thrive on turn two. Probably better off just tossing it. Hold the piggy for Gift of Luminance. Real priests wear plate. Interesting. We were going for Raise Dead here. I guess I'm just always happy to take the amulet so I can shuffle it. It's pretty important to get the amulet up to three. It's just tending to be a good breakpoint for it. Do a little bit more thriving. And pick up the other amulet. Why not? Definitely would have been nice if it was the same amulet, but whatever. Oh, Vandar Quest Priest. Does that make sense? I feel like that just doesn't make sense, but maybe I'm the crazy one. Vandar is actually a pretty decent looking diamond card. Some of the diamond cards just look awful in my opinion, but the Vandar looks pretty good. So I could like bump the, or I could just play Shadow or Devour to kill these, but I don't have a Raise Dead, so let's just dig for Raise Dead. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I still don't really know if I want to invest a Shadow Word Devour, though. Let's just end on a Palm Reading. Um, against all odds, does kill pigs. I guess Hysteria also kills pigs and is probably just better. No real reason to play this Gift of the Naru yet. Should be pretty easy to draw a card with it, and maybe it helps out my Zyrella. So this heals for five at the moment. I could also hero power, make it heal for seven. Hysteria probably doesn't make too much sense. Let's just start with a gift. Oh wait, I want to trade off both of these so I can raise dead. Alright. So, pigs 3 and 4 are in my hand. I do have this amulet, so if I can just pick up the Gift of the Luminance, the other amulet, the other raise dead. A lot of ways I could get access to pig number 5. And I have two clerics to dig for those. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do I have mana this turn? I do. I can just swing the weapon here. Two have died. I only need to play five. Beautiful. Um, do I just play this? There's no reason to play it, I don't think. Really just don't know what they could do here. Oh. Why does that cost one? They played Vandar and then hit it with Insight, I guess. Okay, that's kind of annoying, actually. I do have Hysteria to let me push the 15 here. And I can actually heal this. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll just heal this and let it get traded off. Start with Palm Reading, why not? 
psyche split for one of my pigs. Eh, we'll just go gift. Insight can hit my nether drake, which helps me kill my piggy. Oh, I do already have an insight in hand, though, which can find my other piggy. That's fine. Uh, let's just take the pig activator. Uh, they could live with, like, a gift of the Naru here. I wouldn't have lethal on board, so I would need to get another weapon. Renew, sure. One damage off here. I don't think I can ever draw into one damage. Unless it's like off of Renew into Psyche Split or something. Gift of the Naru. Uh, yeah, sure. I can play Gift of the Naru here. Healing them doesn't really change the breakpoint at all. I actually should not have played Gift of the Naru there. Because if I didn't hit a holy spell, I wouldn't have necessarily... I mean, I guess I could have always Shadow or Devoured this boar. So I guess it was fine. Alright, they're finally dead. Owned. Up against Paladin. Don't think I want to keep any of those. Always love an early amulet trade. Knight of the Ointment. Okay, happy to pick up Insight when I have a Palm Reading in hand. Just a good combination between those two cards. Love the Piggy. Uh, Definitely could use Shadow or Death against Paladin, but I probably just want the Renew. Nice easy zero mana activator for Cleric or Xyrella. Or, you know, you never know what you can discover with Renew. Maybe I could discover, like, a Shadow or Death or something useful. Wow. That's annoying. But, uh, I can just sink four mana into this here and be pretty happy about it, I think. Gift for my piggy. And then next turn I can Insight, and maybe I can hit one of my four drops to deal with this board. This board is starting to get a little bit out of hand. I do have a decent amount of healing in my hand though, so it should be fine. Also, I do just have a Hysteria. Do I just play Hysteria here? What's the worst case scenario? I hit this, I kill... I leave up 7 power. That is kind of bad. Let's just insight. Um, well shit. Nice. Two, three power minions died. Um, amulet is decent. Alm reading is pretty decent since I have two gifts to discount. Probably just amulet though. 
I want to be able to dig for my four drops. Also, my Shadow Word Devourer could be really good here. If they try to protect their Divine Shields with the 3-1, or with the 3-2, then these just die to the Shadow Word Devourer. Okay. Um, I have six mana. Let's just go... I guess I'm going Shadow Word Devourer, Pig, Gift, so I can also play a Gift of the Naru this turn. Shard of the Naru. It's a pretty good Silence. Pretty good Silence, but I think Silence is just always good in this matchup. So... Let's just do this. Is there anything in my raised dead yet? I don't think any of my minions have died. So there is still a world where if I draw raised dead, it's a guaranteed double piggy. Although I might not even need raised dead, because I've basically drawn four pigs already. This is only two pigs. Oh, you're getting so silenced. You've never been so silenced. I guess we thrive, try to hit raise dead. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think. Yeah, yeah, surely we love it. Yeah, yeah, we, we love it. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. I was thinking that the Raised Dead was good enough on its own, but it's not, since I shuffled the Amulet of Undying. Still in a pretty good position in this game, though. That's another Blessing of Authority. I do have another Silence. Can also just heal out of range, maybe. Wave of Apathy, Elec Mount, those are both pretty reasonable. There's no way they can deal with Elec Mount, like they don't play Silence, right? Another Raised Dead, now that we can use. I do want to be able to trade off some piggies next turn. I might just pop all my divine shields here. I guess I only need to be able to trade off two. So even if they have like a royal librarian or something ridiculous, they still also need two damage. I might just straight up have lethal on board next turn. Or not on board, but like lethal with my weapon directly instead of the mana discount mattering. I only need to push six with minions, and it seems hard for them to even just deal with... Okay. I'm not going to be able to lethal through that. Oh, and I'm not even guaranteed to raise dead pigs here. That's kind of bad. But I need to... I do need to hit three pigs. So I guess I start off by trading this. That's one pig. That's a bit of a whiff. Alright, bailed out. Can just play this as well, why not? So Thrive can hit my other amulet, I guess. That's what I want it for. My weapon does 8 damage. 
Well, they can't even get through my taunt this turn. I think this will be fine. I think we'll be fine. Not a whole lot that deck can do for one mana. As far as I know, at least. Oh, nice. That's just a concede. Very nice. That was definitely looking sketchy at some points. But Pig Priest is just too strong. It can't be stopped. Druid. Um, I think I've done pretty well against Druids historically with this deck. Do I ever keep Shard of the Naru? Probably not. I have a lot of things I can draw into to deal with their boards, even if they're buffed. Not a great hand, but Insight and Thrive in the Shadows can do a lot. I'm 3 and 1 against Druid at the moment. Not really sure what kind of Druid those all are, though. Piggy? So I guess I want Thrive in the Shadows to hit uh, Gift of the Luminance now. Okay, this is a Ramp Druid. I think most of the Druids I've played against have been aggro of some sort. I like to trade that back, so sometimes I can just pick it up again. Um, is that what I want to do? Raise dead or amulet? Probably raise dead. I mean, the amulet only reses... Like, I have to have multiple boards die before the amulet actually reses. Overgrowth. Hey. My opponent's had a good curve, but so far, so have I. So I just need these to die, I raise dead them, I'll have four dead pigs, and then if I can just find, what, like the Amulet of Undying or something? Jesus, this curve is insane. If I win this game, though, then Pig Priest is the most insane deck in the world. My opponent has nine mana, I have four, so sick, so sick. Hey, another piggy. What do I do here? I don't I really don't want to play another minion to pollute my raised dead. So I guess I'll just start with this renew. Call of the grave. I mean I guess it's call of the grave. Uh let's add a 3 1 to my hand. Sure, why not? Don't want to play it, though. So yeah, it's really nice that I picked up that pig, because now all I need to find is the second raise dead, or an amulet that summons two. It's definitely a lot harder to find three pigs than it is to find two with this deck. So, very good pickup. Resizing pouch for 8. I can't imagine 8 is that good on average. But uh, maybe it is. That's fine. It's going to have 9 health. Maybe that's not that fine. It's kind of annoying. So I kind of want to trade this off, play the dragon, raise that. Actually, I don't even have to trade this off. I have two dead pigs already. So let's just start with the raise dead, and then we can renew. This says draw a minion. So Zyrella, dragon, cleric. Not great. What about holy smite? It's not going to kill. I mean, I guess it's just Horn. Feel the sun bear down upon you. Thrive. Shard is honestly okay. 
but I think it's probably Thrive. Try to find those last couple of piggies. There we go. There's the piggies. Go ahead and get rid of this Divine Shield just to uh, make sure I can get rid of it for next turn. So next turn I'm on 7 mana. I can guaranteed... Oh, actually... I uh, I cannot go Amulet plus Nether Drake because I don't have another Shadow Spell after playing the Amulet. So that might not work. Alright, there's an insight. That's pretty lucky. Two pickies. Five out of seven. Um, I'm honestly not in that great of a spot. Because my opponent has a big 8-8 eight eight in play. I mean, I guess it's just an 8-8 eight eight, though. But my weapon does not kill the opponent. They're at 33, my weapon only does 30 since part of it had to go into a taunt. So I need to find, like, the other amulet or the other raised dead. Or maybe, if they're not trading into the uh, nether drake, then there's my 4 damage. And actually I have stealth damage too. Yeah. Nice. If they had traded there, it was... Maybe they still had a chance, but they didn't. 